Being a female streamer nowadays is pretty hard. Not because you have to wake up and stream for eight hours and you need to entertain everyone. No, it's because of the creeps that you have to deal with. As the creeps rates rise every year, any second a new creep is born. A new creep came into this world right now. And even though all you want to do is play video games, you want to stream for your chat and you want to communicate with them, have a good time. These creeps have their dragon out and they are obsessed with you because you are a female. How do I know this? Because every once in a while when I stream, I identify myself as a female and this is how it goes. Hey guys, you guys won't believe what I found today. I found the best coffee shop ever. The cream in that cup. James gifted 50 subs. Oh, thank, thank you, James, for the 50 gifted. I really appreciate it. I want to suck your titties dry and braid your ass hair. I want you to tickle me till I come. <laughs> It's a tough world out there for female streamers and Pokemon last night went viral again from this specific one minute clip that she shared a secret with all of her community something related to this Pokemon says her editor admitted he could not stop touching himself to her videos Hey, do you have time to talk? I'm ready to finally tell you why I've been struggling so much with deadlines and I said Oh, like, great. Hopefully this is something that we can fix. Tell me why he proceeds to tell me that the reason why he would sometimes turn around videos a week or two late is because he couldn't stop touching himself. Yes, that's ex exactly what you thought it means. It's exactly what you think it means. Pokemon's editor finally got the courage to stand up and tell Pokemon to confess his love to her and tell her why the videos are not being delivered on the deadlines. <laughs> Imagine your own editor, the person you send hundreds of hours of footage, if not thousands of hours. And what does he do for thousands? I'm surprised he, he even he's alive. I'm surprised he's not dead yet. He's been beating his dragon for thousands and thousands of hours. To what exactly? Pokemon going, hey guys, welcome back to another channel. Oh yeah, keep keep talking. It's, it, ah. <laughs> I don't know what was going through his mind when he decided to be like, you know what? Let me tell her why I'm late. I don't know if Pokemon pressured him. Where's my videos? It's been two weeks. You were supposed to deliver it like a week or two weeks ago. You used to be so good at delivering it on time. What happened to you? What is causing it? Are you doing drugs? If he would have said he was doing drugs, it would have been better than what the... Fuck, he just said. I don't know if he wanted to get fired. I don't know if he wanted to get exposed because he was so... Sh he had so much shame inside him and he wanted to be exposed so people would laugh at him and just point fingers at him and just make fun of him. So he will get a reality check and, you know, he will recover from the like a deep hole that he dug himself most probably he had enough pokemon was up his ass and was like pressuring him and he just didn't give a shit anymore he didn't give a fuck about making money becoming an editor maybe he hated this job but it is so confusing on why he would come and tell her all of these things touching himself i was trying to pick which word to use to me his in a way employer of many many months when I tell you I've never halted a conversation so fast, because I'm like, you are the person that I send like hours of footage to. I don't want to know what you're jacking it to. I don't want to know more. I shouldn't, I shouldn't even know how much I know right now. I honestly want to know what turned him on. Just her face. Did she like in her clips, like midway in like a six hour clip, does she like flash the stream and be like, oh, something for you editor and he just gets turned on it doesn't make sense on why he gets turned on and he decides to beat his dragon she says that she found this editor a couple of months ago i believe and they've been he she really liked his work the way he edits his stuff and that's why like you know she hired him but she didn't know his shameful little secret now this is some discord mod activities but if you compare this guy to a discord mod discord mods are fucking golden now if someone is this obsessed with you they he either deserves an oscar for it or pokemon deserves a dummy award for it because there should be signs that someone is this obsessed with you this is like 
next next level this is even worse than the people who pay for only fans to go and talk to that person and be like mm, finger your nose for me and say sh some sh embarrassing stuff and they're like why they're like beating their dragon and i have firsthand experience kind of seeing how much ew don't uh, where's that sentence going i mean like i've seen people that i've even lived with struggle with addiction so when he's like you know, like this is like an addiction of mine. I genuinely, I genuinely felt really, really bad. So I still paid him for months <laughs> just because I, I, I didn't want to be the reason that he like didn't have enough money. I don't, I don't know. Most people get disgusted and they immediately fire this person. But Pokemon, apparently she was very flattered. She was like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Am I that hot? Thank you. This is like the... <laughs> you should absolutely fucking fire this person because you don't even feel creeped out. I feel like she knows that there's not... This is not only the first person who... This, this, this is definitely the first person who came forward and expressed his feelings towards her but there's definitely more people watching her stream while she's playing valorant and they're going like oh yeah oh yeah ace 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 was it extremely inappropriate of him to tell me yeah i also didn't tell anyone for years and then years later i told my manager and she's <laughs> she looks at me like this <laughs> She's like, bitch, the fuck? I was like, yeah, I was too shy to tell anyone. <laughs> I like to correct myself. They were working together for more than a few months. Imagine every time Pokemon during this few months that she didn't fire him because she felt bad for him because he's going through an addiction. How weird and awkward it would have been all along. Hey, here's my footage. Don't do it don't do it he needs to get one of those chips with from elon mark the newer links put it in his head and edit the videos while his hands are being tied up all behind him and he's controlling everything with his eyes and editing all the footages with his like eyes or i don't know how the fuck they work Ugh, fuck arm cramp this is absolutely messed up but bro is going through an addiction and i hope bro gets the help he needs because this is fucked he should have honestly he should have kept it to himself no matter how much pressure he was going through he should have kept it to himself i don't know if i don't know how he reacts if pokemon took a break from content D does he go crazy does he go back to the old footages that he had it was like i miss you even the people who beat their dragon to pokemon streaming on daily basis they were calling this guy an idiot look at this rookie he doesn't know shit but this is absolutely insane no one fucking expected this but i just thought it would be uh it's kind of like a funny situation as well and sad for him definitely very sad for him <laughs> but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below take care of yourself i'll see you at the next one